Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Merrick's Garage, part two of the John Bull trip up to Big Bear. You remember in part one, I hit the uh, Gold Mountain Trail, and just got started on John Bull. Well, today we're going to finish up the John Bull. We're going to have an awesome time hitting Gatekeeper and the rest of that trail. We get a little rowdy, we possibly break some stuff. It's an awesome time. I know you guys will dig it. Check it out. Peace. Butterflies in your stomach? Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> well, that's how you know we're on an adventure. Sorry about the camera moving all over the place. I'm trying to I'm really looking forward to uh, exploring this trail again in some nice conditions. Yeah, I might add that he did this in uh, Freak Flash Flood last time. So the first half of the trail was uh, a selection of fire roads and access roads with some boulders and uh, climbs very similar to the one you're seeing on here. Not all that challenging, but beautiful, fun, and a good warm up for what we had coming up later, which was gonna test our trucks. My transmission cooler has a 180 degree thermostat built into the supply side that for whatever reason was not triggering. So over lunch break, I disconnected everything and just hardwired it directly to the battery. So it was running all the time, but my transmission finally stayed nice and cool. So uh, we're breaking here for lunch right halfway through the trail. Uh, we got some of the gnarly stuff coming up after lunch. We're gonna let everything cool down I'm going to uh, throw in some more uh, transmission fluid, check coolant levels, let everything get back down to normal operating temperature, and then go hit it. So I have this really long, it's basically a test lead. So what happened? The piece just fell apart. Yeah. So, here we go. Hot side. So there's my power for this. My ground is right there. This guy just needs to, let me make sure I got a fuse in here. Uh, I got a five amp fuse. That's not gonna cut it, so let's get rid of this fuse. Let's try a 15 amp fuse in here. I'm not sure what the draw on this is. If this doesn't work, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll just go higher in the fuse. Okay, so where's my power right here? Hey, so here we are. This is the gatekeeper on John Bull. Just had lunch. Ran into a bunch of Jeep birds from, from uh, Temecula, San Diego area. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cruise up this right now. Get a little spot. I'm gonna put the drone up so you guys can check it out and uh, keep on rolling. But good day so far. Looking to it getting better. So the gatekeeper is about halfway through the John Bull Trail, and it's when many people consider the real John Bull Trail starts. The gatekeeper is exactly what it sounds. It's a obstacle that if you have a hard time with this, if you get stuck, if you have to get winched out, 
and the rest of the trail is going to prove problematic for you. So, full disclosure, man, I cocked this up something fierce. I just did not have a good line coming in. I got up all sideways. I got high centered. I hung up my rear diff. It was not one of my uh, my best moments, but um, I didn't get stuck. I was able to get through, and we pushed on to the next section of John Bull, which in my opinion was significantly harder than this gatekeeper was. Uh, quite a bit longer, steeper, and uh, a little bit looser. So yeah, it lived up to its name, got me ready for the next section of trail, and we carried on. When I got home and started looking through the videos that I'd shot, I noticed that I had not turned my locker on for the vast majority of the trail. The rocker switch for my locker actually turns on the opposite way of the rest of my rocker switches for my light bar and rock lights and rear lights and things like that. So I found myself thinking I had turned on my locker just to find myself getting hung up couldn't figure out what was going on, but when I went back and watched the video, I noticed that I was not locked up up front. That became specifically a problem in the next section coming up that you guys will see here. I was just spinning tires. Lesson learned. gatekeeper you're gonna have about a mile of trail that is just scattered with rocks and obstacles nothing significant kind of nice climb through this uh, pine forest a little bit of a boulder field just take your time picking it through getting ready for the final push to the top This section right here was a very challenging section of the trail. There was uh, a couple of lines you could take through it. The line I ended up choosing on the driver's left actually looked to be the easier line. I got hung up. I um, rested my truck on my drive shaft. I almost uh, turtled it again. It was, uh, it was a challenging section of trail. 
but it was a lot of fun. This is why I came to the John Bull Trail, is for stuff like this. I wanted to put the truck in situations that I knew were going to test it, and I was going to see how it held up. Without having the front locker engaged, as you can see right here, spinning that one tire, I made things a lot harder for myself. I'd be very curious to see how difficult this trail would be with the locker engaged because I just couldn't climb up on stuff as easily as I thought I should be. That resulted in me getting a little bit sideways and high centered and a little bit tippy, but at the end, I got all the way through. Very rewarding section of trail. Really enjoyed this part. banging around on my tie rod. I think you guys can see here that this thing is taking some significant stress. I'm pleased to report it just went right back to where it was supposed to be. That's one of the beautiful things about steel. It just has this elasticity about it that enables it to take some of the abuse that uh, an aluminum tie rod really would not be able to. So I had a guy up the trail spotting me, yelling that I was on my tie rod, and uh, yeah. Once he alerted me to that, I changed my line, tackled this thing, and monstered this rock. Not gonna lie, this next section had me puckered pretty significantly. I didn't think I was gonna turtle it, but I came a lot closer than I'd like to. And you know the old saying, once bitten, twice shy? Well, I definitely had some considerations of uh, how am I gonna get out of this. Luckily, the truck settled, put a little bit of weight on it for my buddy, and uh, got me out of that precarious situation. Um, yeah, that was fun. A little too much fun. Right before lunchtime, we were passed by a group of about six to seven jeepers from down in the uh, San Diego area. They were kind enough to let us go first on Gatekeeper and push through that. And then when we got to this section of trail, we found a couple of other guys higher up the trail who were scouting it out for that group of six or so that was heading west to east. They also gave us the opportunity to run this section and pass them, avoiding the congestion that was inevitably going to happen when those two groups met. But that did add some time pressure to the situation. When Clay got high centered, we mucked around with it for about three minutes before we decided to just winch him out and try and reduce any, uh, any obstruction to the trail for these two groups that were going to have a challenge getting past each other as it was. So. Unhooked the, the winch, hooked it up to my truck up top, pulled him off, and continued on.
this last little section of trail proved to be my undoing when it comes to body damage. It is a wide truck, the K30 Blazer, but you know, I thought I had this and it wasn't until the very last second that the rear drop passenger tire got kicked up and it just pushed the panel, the rear quarter on the driver's side, over into that tree, kissing it and leaving a little mark in the, in the sheet metal. Not a big deal, chicks dig scars, and it looks even tougher because of it. So yeah, a little bit of trail damage, but it's all good. <laughs>